In this tutorial video, we're going to see how to install Java. Java is a computer programming language that is concurrent, class-based, object-orientated, and specifically designed to have as few implementation dependencies as possible. Now, to install Java, all you have to do is launch your web browser, and then in the search engine, type Java JDK. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. And then simply click on this link, which is going to bring you to the Oracle website. And as you can see, Java JDK 8U5 is available for download. 8U5 is the version, and that's the latest version. Simply click on download. And then scroll down a bit. Now, before you're able to actually download JDK, you have to accept the license agreement. So click on accept license agreement here. And then depending on your operating system, uh, I'm currently running Windows 7 64-bit, so I need this version. If you're running uh, Windows 32-bit, uh, it's x86. So click here for the 64-bit version. And then just wait until the download is finished. Now once the download has completed, uh, all you have to do is launch it, so just simply click on it. And then you have the installation wizard that's going to pop up. Just wait until the installation has prepared itself. And then all you have to do is uh, follow the steps. So click on next. Uh, we're going to leave the default installation um, directory. So click on next. You can change it if you want to by clicking on change. Next, and then the installation is going to run. Depending on your machine, it might take a while. Okay, now that the installation for JDK is finished, it's going to ask you to install JRE. Now, JRE consists of the Java Virtual Machine. It's basically the runtime port, uh, the runtime portion of Java software, which is all you need to run in your web browser. So, uh, this is the default directory for the installation. Uh, we're going to leave it like that. Again, if you want to change it, simply click on Change on next <coughs> so again just wait until the installation is finished Okay, so now that you've actually finished the installation, uh, you can access the tutorials uh, documentation by clicking on next steps. We were not going to do that, so just simply click on close. And there you have it. You've just installed the uh, Java JDK. So now that we've installed Java JDK, which is essentially a compiler, uh, for those who don't know what a compiler is, it's basically a kind of translator that lets you translate code that you can understand into code that the computer can understand. So anyway, we're going to try and test uh, Java JDK. We're going to run it, see if it works. And to do this, we're going to click on the Start menu. And in the search box down here, we're going to type CMD. And then click on the CMD icon right here. CMD is basically the command prompt or the command console, if you wish, for Windows. So here we're going to type Java C, press enter on your keyboard. And as you can see, the command is not recognized. And it's not recognized basically because uh, we haven't yet linked 
the installation, the Java installation uh, to the computer, even though it's installed. So to link it, uh, we're going to close this window here, go back to the start menu and then click on computer. Then click on the disk, uh, sorry, the drive uh, where your program files are installed. Generally, by default, that's on the C drive. And because we've installed, or because I've installed Java JDK on a 64 bit operating system, the Java folder is going to be found in this folder and not in this one. So we're going to double click on program files. And as you can see, the Java folder is there. Double click on it, then double click on JDK, and then on bin. Now, this is the directory, the link we need. So we're going to copy that, like so, and then close the window here. Go back to the start menu, right click this time on computer, and then click on properties click on advanced system system settings yes then on environment variables and then here we're going to add a new system variable which is going to be the link so we're going to click on new here for the name of the variable we're going to type path it's very important that you type it just like this and then for the value we're going to paste the the link that we copied earlier let's paste it and then click on ok 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 again close this window and now all we have to do is test test it again like we did at the beginning so start menu cmd click on cmd and then type java c and then enter and as you can see the link has been established and we have a lot of commands.